Hello Spirits, so this video wasn't actually supposed to happen. I was fully aware of the Nine Realms, but I wasn't going to make a video because, eh. My reasoning was understandable, yet here I am. Here we go, another god awful season of a god awful show. Without further ado, wait before you skip this, this is about my commissions. I'll be quick. Currently, they're open, and I am even showcasing a new type of commission paintings. I can draw characters you have, characters belonging to others, or even fan out of characters you like. Here are some examples if my style piques your interest, and prices are as listed. Any funds slash donations go to an account meant for restoring equipment for art, such as if my iPad breaks down, which I feel is very close, to renewing subscriptions so I can make more of these types of videos, and in the future, comic or animated projects. But that's not for a very, very long time. And of course, some exceptions are in play, but if you're interested, you can contact one of my five social platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, or Discord. Currently, I have set up a coffee account and a new PayPal. Thanks for hearing me out, on with the video. Dragons of Nine Realms is set 1,300 years in the future of the events of the last movie. The show focuses on four kids learning the existence of dragons. Tom, June, Alex, and D'Angelo with their new original dragons. They have to hide theirs and other dragons from their parents to avoid them going extinct or use as weapons. <laughs> Tom is the main protagonist, he's an adventurous kid who makes his own rules. He's also the descendant of Hiccup. June is a love interest, her entire character is being an encyclopedia for history and myths. Alex is the shy hacker of the group, and in season 2 she's a lot more sassy. D'Angelo is the medic. Fans have expressed their anger, including breaking the perfect rating score each show got, and yet DreamWorks didn't listen. Now, if you're new to my channel and didn't see me talk about this show before, I'll give you a quick rundown on why this show is as bad people make it out to be. And so you won't watch that because uh, the audio could have been mixed better and recorded better. Don't watch it. The animation in this show is very, well, low budgeted. Even in the season 2 trailer, you can see that they didn't give this show the proper budget it needed to even thrive. And before you say, but uh, as a spirit, show's budgets are supposed to be low, thanks Sherlock, but here's a reverse card for you. Season 1 had 6 episodes, season 2 had 7. Tell me their excuse for a lower budget show. The writing in this show is also horrendous. There are barely any attempts at humour, the conversations between characters can feel forced. Remember that thing How to Train Your Dragon succeeded in? The bad guys did it better. <laughs> Fucking hell, this story is the generic high dragon from people, which is what the first movie did for like an hour, and season 2 has it worse. <laughs> If you think this show couldn't get any worse, the tropes, the characters, they're the exact same. Uh, you would think I'm kidding, but adventurous lead, Sunda, a female protagonist. Even the dragons are the fucking same. Just fusions and inbreds of the originals, and cultural backgrounds being their dragon. And that sums it up. Wait, you're not convinced yet? Well then, here's season 2 for you, you 9 realm loving motherfucker. Alright, so I left a small segment dedicated to this last time, at least I think, and if I didn't convey that well enough, I will hear. My reasoning for seeing it as a disgrace for the new era for animation isn't because its writing is bad or there aren't a lot of jokes, it was because it looks like it was made years ago, like before their other shows. It looks old and well, stiff. Unlike the many shows before and after, they have either amazing animation or something better in comparison with this is newer, company and indie alike. Let's take a few examples, or slash a few personal favourites. In this new era of animation, we've had shows like Arcane, The Owl House, Hell of a Boss, Lackadaisy, and all of them so far have shown amazing works of animation, and all of them falling under the 2020 era of animation. But it doesn't stop there. It's not just their animation that they excel at. It can be writing, it, it can be the story, it can be the characters. But we're still in the age that where, unfortunately, studios didn't get the memo that you actually need to try in your shows. 
and DreamWorks and their TV shows are a prime example. They do not put effort into their shows, or at the very least, they don't give the teams a big enough budget. Their past shows have joked about this, but DreamWorks doesn't act on it. But that's why I see Nine Realms as a disgrace. They're living in the past while others move on. And without out of the way, onto the actual show itself. And here you'll see why it's even worse than a disgrace. Anything that was good. Hmm. This show down was very core is just so mundane and boring oh sorry sorry things i liked um uh yeah i got nothing you'll understand why soon enough now on the surface there are a lot of visible problems but underneath it there are actually a lot more one to name is something i probably did say in both videos and that was this show had a short run time but and so I forgot to add something onto that. You know when shows have little episodes, right? This allows more funding to go directly to the animation, writing, and whatnot. And with that, it helps convey a lot of lore, story, without any filler. However, with Nine Realms, they do it far more lazier. Its animation is outdated, the writing is bad, the story is predictable, and more than half the episodes are filler. But does season two fix this? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> So, none of a direct story that involves all of the characters. The last three episodes are the only story-driven episodes. Episode 1 is about June finding a unicorn dragon and keeping it. Episode 2 is where Tom's mother almost finds the hidden world while the others block up the entrance. Episode 3 is about zombie-looking dragons and Alex overcoming her anxiety. Episode 4 is about a forest fire started by a greedy villain. Episode 5 is about spider dragons, as well as Tom and D'Angelo fighting, but soon making up. And the two-part finale is about finding Thunder, which had a dragon that chased away his family, and then finding an entirely new area to explore. Oh, you don't see what I mean. Oh, um, alright. Well, I'll go into depth about one of the episodes then. I didn't go into full detail because I hate this show, and something I left out was, in the first episode, Tom is experiencing trauma from fighting the Vault Ripper. Regardless of his adventures, he came close to death fighting a creature no one's seen in 1,300 years. They couldn't have fucked it up, right? <laughs> I kid you not, all it took was a single response from June that he's been thinking about it all day. A single line fixes his trauma in a snap. Stranger Things handles this better. As you just heard from that, that was originally what I was going to go with. Only you want to know what the problem was? I came to discover he was more guilty about shooting it in the face. I I'm sorry, that's what gave him nightmares. Guess the little Tom response to June makes sense. It's fucking pathetic. <laughs> yeah, this one's obvious, but DreamWorks are just so fucking lazy. I'm not even kidding. And it's not even just old fusion dragons they've copied. Here's a list of the main dragons they had. Also, I'm not fucked to find it, but um, they actually had the, uh, the, the terrible terror back. He hasn't evolved, he hasn't gotten bigger or smaller. He's just there. I do not understand this fucking logic. Can someone explain it? We're gonna have a good time. A unicorn dragon, which FYI, was a fucking reskin from the lovable show Rescue Rangers. I'm joking if you couldn't tell, wait. This got a third season? When we're dancing, the Magma Breather. I actually don't mind this dragon. Heart and Lava Breath isn't something I've heard of in universe, I think. Especially at the rate it, he did it at. Aggressive, molting feather wings. Making them look like zombies, the shedding isn't actually bad, but you couldn't have done a new species. <laughs> this is literally just a Skaldron. He actually has a name, but uh, I'm not fucked to find it. <laughs> Spider wings. Are you fucking- Actually, this is a cool concept. Wow, something original. <laughs> they really bring back the fucking razor whip? How is there a squirrel? 
I can't even draw dragons as well, and yet I could write better powers. DreamWorks had an infinite amount of powers, abilities, designs to play with, and yet they just reskin or fuse a few existing. Uh, what's next? Oh right! Just when you thought they were done, they pulled Bugs Light's worst mistake. But they did it worse. The well-loved Lytrope. For a little context, old chum, episode 5, 6, and 7 had the I'm not even kidding, had the worst case of this trope, which for some reason pisses off this cast of characters. Hey, do you want to know the lie? The dark, terrible secret! Tom lied about his connection to Thunder and the Helmet. Yeah, I'm sorry, what are you fucking morons mad about? DreamWorks literally just said that friends don't keep secrets. Can't keep secrets. Whiskey, baby, I sure have so much wine. I can guarantee when you're with me, we're gonna have Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. How is this the most predictable plot slash story I have ever seen? The so-called reveals were visible from the trailer alone. So, it is visible from fucking space. From the season 1 trailer alone, we already knew that Thunder is Toothless's descendant, Tom is Hiccup's descendant. And in the Spider episode, they mentioned Tom's dad left him and his mother, and then in the finale, they find a spearhead with the same symbol that Thunder made. So there are three theories in play here. His dad either left to the Dragon World, got taken to the Dragon World, or has nothing to do with it. But seeing as they're reusing plots, tropes, and species, I don't doubt he'd make an appearance. Can you imagine what I saw when I was walking long ago and alone the street? Alright, so this was the most disappointing blow to the franchise. You know how there's genuinely a uh, villain in the spin-off shows? They're not the main bad guy, but they appear enough time to leave an impression. Well, the Nine Realms did this, but they set up a future antagonist of the show. An amazing, well fought, it's their bootleg rent edition of Dagger. Fucking, remember when dragons had good villains in their movies and shows? Yeah, this is Lenin. Oh, oh I'm sorry, what am I saying? He prefers to be called Buzzsaw. <sighs> Fucking what? Wanna know his character? He's basically someone who cuts down trees, plain stupid, and he sees a thunderbird, then swears revenge. <laughs> While we're on the topic, I need to talk about any potential new characters, just like Leonard here. There was actually a new character called Eugene. If you've watched the show already, you know where I'm going with this. His entire character is being a mama's boy who acts good in front of everyone. Only everyone but May knows his true character. But do you want to know how crucial he is to the plot? The overarching relevance? If he didn't exist, nothing would change. He is literally just filler. This just shows how the writing holds up. Wanna know what I'm talking about next? Legs were moving to the beat as tail was along his body strong and I began to dance along It is somehow even worse than the first season. I still can't tell if there are any jokes in this show because for some reason this is the quality funny! Who throw away a perfectly good sneaker? <laughs> Linda. And that's not even the worst of it. There are no emotional moments, no scenes that reflect on the characters. Remember when Stoic fucking disowned Hiccup? You're not my son. Ready to shoot! Yeah, you don't get that. And let's end on a high note. Why is this shit called the Nine Realms if you won't show other realms? The bullshit you see are just different parts of the crystal area. Actually fucking travel to another realm you sons of bitch- <laughs> This show is a mess, a train wreck, a quick cash grab that could have been better utilized the original cast. But in summary, do not watch the clips, do not watch it on Peacock or Hulu. This show is utter garbage. Do not support it in any way. 
It's the only way DreamWorks will actually listen.